So it's been three days, late nights, it's 2.30 in the morning. Guys, it's been unbelievable to see the leaders, all right, all your uplines, the V partners, the AVPs, the V councils, the V elite leaders, planning, strategizing, all right, 2023. Now, I hope you will watch me on my Instagram where I took you on a tour of the exhibition tunnel of legacy, impact and future of QNET 2023 and I'm proud that I'm the first person who's wearing the t-shirt define your legacy guys all right my mantra this year and I have so much to tell you all right it's crazy I also speak to you on Sunday on my insta live at 8 p.m Hong Kong standard time but today I want to talk about something that I realize listening to Dato Sri Vijay speaking to your uplines and leaders addressing everyone I realize what is the secret of success of all these people, the 150 inner circle elite participants of ICE 2023? I listened to them, I watched them, I interacted with them for three days. We ate together, we sang songs together. All right, last night we just sang I Believe I Can Fly with Dato Sri Vijay. Unbelievable. You'll see it somewhere on everyone's social media. And I wanted to share with you guys now whether you're brand new, okay whether you've been around for a long time or you're somewhere at some point of your journey with us on this journey of entrepreneurship, self-discovery, finding your passion, finding your purpose, all right, this adventure. I want you to listen very carefully. I realized the past two days interacting with the greatest networkers I, I have had the privilege of being with talking to them as their upline, representing Japa and Datu Sri Vijay, I realized one thing. There was one similarity among all of them. And it didn't happen at the beginning. So if you are networking today, I realize when you begin networking, you use this. It's all logic. It's not emotional. It's very practical. You understand the complex. You understand the industry. You understand what you need to do, the price you have to pay, your behavior, your knowledge, your skill that you need to acquire, all right? You do your first presentation and you think it's not good enough, you want to make it better and better and better and better. And the first part of every networker's journey is very transactional, all right? It's a transaction, okay? What do I need to do to get this? What do I need to do to get that? What do, how do I need to behave? And I realized at that point, all of us, including me, including you watching this Wednesday message, we all started our business by using this. The approach of logic. The approach of what's in it for me. What do I need to do to get what I want? And it's okay. Because I think everyone starts their journey transactional. Everyone starts their journey mentally. All right? With a level of logic, of application and how things work and all of that. But I also realize that if you start your business here, you cannot reach financial freedom by building your business only with this. You cannot achieve a max out income to the point that you can transfer a max out tracking center to your children. Yes, can you make money using this? Can you make money being logical? Can you make some money being transactional in understanding and building your business, 100% yes. But can you make money for the next three generations? Can you achieve financial freedom? My answer is no. And I realize the common strength and characteristic of these 150 warriors of Dato Sri Vijay at ICE, they all went through a transition, a transformation, a realization, 
And I think at that point, your real journey begins. I think at the beginning of the journey, you're trying to figure things out. You're trying to decide whether this is what you want to do and it's okay. Everyone goes through that. But at one point, there will be a click, there will be a turning point. And I call it the six-inch journey where you move from here to here. All right? When your journey moves from here to here, that is the point of truly starting your journey. And what does that mean? What does this, this move from here to here mean? It means you move to a realm where you build this business with your heart. Right? From dream to purpose. From logic to illogical. To searching for answers to a point where answers are no longer relevant as long as you are loving it, as long as you're enjoying the journey, as long as you, you, you achieve a sense of emotional satisfaction that you are changing people's lives. Then Dato Sri Vijay shared his vision of touching a billion hearts. Now, it doesn't mean you don't want to make money. It doesn't mean that you won't make money. And I've studied these leaders, the true max out kings and queens, the people who are making a serious amount of money, if you talk to them, if you really sit down, if I wish I could have time to interview each one of them, you realize that they are building the business from their hearts. That they are building their business beyond their selfish needs. They have reached a point where they know there is something greater, a greater purpose of their existence on this journey beyond just the 3,000 BV left, 3,000 BV right, even though that's important, but there's something greater driving them. A sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of satisfaction that makes them go to bed at 5 in the morning so sleepy, but they jump up at bed at 8 in the morning knowing that today is going to be a great day where their journey is overwhelmed with an unbelievable feeling of joy and satisfaction. So if you ask me, what is the secret of success of all the networkers that are present at ICE? The reason why they were invited, the reason why they were chosen, had nothing to do with their skill, had nothing to do with what they can or cannot do. It had 100% had to do that these are the men and women where the business has moved from here to here. And from that point, their business started growing and growing and growing and growing. And they became stronger. They became warriors. They fought for the dreams of their downlines. They never gave up on their people. They raised leaders every single day with love, not with authority, not with arrogance. That they have, as much as they are confident, as much as they are leaders, max out kings and queens, but there was some weird sense of humility that they will stay with Dato Sri Vijay no matter what happens. That they will fight every battle not to protect their check, but to protect their downlines, to protect and keep the promises that they have made to a people. It's hard for me to explain. I'm trying to figure it out, but it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And I realize why I am here today at 2.30 in the morning. It is not transactional. I'm not trying to tick a box that I've done my Wednesday message. That my heart is beating so fast every Tuesday that you have to share your heart with your downlines. You have to make your Wednesday message because it may touch a life. It may save a life. It may change a life. And that comes from a place of emotion. It comes from a place of purpose. And the reason why we have survived for 25 years and we are celebrating our 25th anniversary legacy impact future, and I'm saying this with all honesty, it has nothing to do with our strategy. It has nothing to do with our complaint, nothing to do with our products, nothing to do with anything, not our website, not our app. It has 100% have to do with the people who built this company, who work in this company, 
the network that is building every single day, but all of them has one common thing, a similarity. They all did it from their hearts. They're all doing it from their hearts. They're doing it with vairagya, with passion, with love. So I, I realized today, listening to, to all the leaders speak to Datu Sri Vijay and my interaction with them, the reason why they're great leaders, the reason why they're the kings and queens of our organization is because they're all heart. All heart. All heart. And the day you have that transformation from transactional to a believer, to a leader who builds with their heart, who protects with their heart, who fights with their heart, max out, belongs to you. It is almost like it is your destiny. And I pray, sitting here today, that you get that realization sooner than later. That you realize that this business is not about you, but it's, a, it's about something greater. It's about changing the world, making a difference. That's why we're 25 years old. That's why our enemies cannot stop us. That's why nothing can bring us down. And we get knocked down, we get up again, because we are all heart. All heart. All heart. That I'm sitting here at 2.30, I haven't slept a single night. But I'm all heart, guys. Japa is all heart. Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran is all heart. That's where loyalty comes from. That's what creates the greatest warriors. Not those who fight for land and fight for money. The greatest warriors fought to protect their people. Fought to keep their promises. Fought to protect women and children and they were willing to die for them. Are you guys with me? So on this journey, my wish today on day three of ICE for all of you that you reach that point of transformation, the point of realization that the business always starts here. Logical, numbers, how much, what, this, that, does it work, can I trust, blah, 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 questions, 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 analysis, analysis until paralysis. But your goal, what you should pray for every morning when you wake up, every night before you go to sleep, that the business moves from here to here. And when it moves from here to here, nothing can stop you. Nobody can stop you. People will follow you through the greatest battles and never quit. People will listen to you with open hearts and empty cups. And they will do whatever they need to do because you are all heart. So the secret of building a successful network, the secret of building a, a max out organization, it's not strategy, it's not numbers, it's not understanding the comp plan. The answer I realized at this eye is listening to my mentor, Dato Sri Vijay, listening to your uplines. The answer is, do this business, all heart. And today, you know, I'm sitting here at, at 2.45 in the morning, and somebody stood up to speak to Dato Sri Vijay, a leader from Africa, and I'm still very touched. And I don't usually get emotional, you know me. But he was sharing how he lost his wife a year ago. And he wanted to quit the business. He wanted to give up. And he watched my Wednesday message. And that made him decide to stay and build. And help change life in Africa. And today, he's a guest at ICE, invited to be the inner circle elite of Dato Sri Vijay and Japanas Bisma. And he said, what prevented him from quitting, what kept him switched on was one Wednesday message he watched. And that reaffirmed in my heart that I'll never stop doing this. As long as Mike is there holding the camera and my voice can still be heard, this will continue. This is my legacy. My gratitude to Japa and Datu Sri Vijay is by keeping doing this. So remember, you want to be a max out king, you want to be a max out queen, you want to leave uh, things behind for the next generation, there is only one secret, one answer. All heart. Love you guys.